Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have looked upon the basic concepts of uh, fractions, it is time that we will understand how do we do multiplication of fractions because we have already learned about addition and subtraction. So the next operation that needs to be discussed is multiplication. Now what do we mean by multiply? So let us take this example in order to understand where do we need to multiply fractional numbers or where do we need to multiply fractions. Let's say that you have a pizza and there are 10 kids or there are 10 of your friends in your house and each of them say that each of them needs one fourth of a pizza. That means if you take a pizza, cut it into four equal halves. So one part of it is nothing but one by four. So this is one fourth of a pizza, right? And each of them tells that they need one fourth of a pizza. Now, if I ask you that how many pizzas would you exactly need for these 10 kids? So one of each one needs one fourth of a pizza and there are how many kids? There are 10 kids. So 1 by 4 into 10, this would give you the total number of pizzas that you need. So basically when we multiply 1 by 4 with 10, what are we trying to do? We are basically trying to add 1 by 4 10 times because there are 10 kids, right? So this kid needs 1 by 4, this kid needs 1 by 4 of a pizza, this kid needs 1 fourth, this kid needs 1 fourth. So what you are doing 1 by 4? plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 till 10 times. Now adding 1 by 4 for 10 times is going to be a tedious job, right? So that is why instead of adding the same number multiple times, we multiply it. So since we want to add it 10 times, we say that, okay, 1 by 4 multiplied by 10. And that is how we can find out how many pizzas do we need. Now the question here is, how do we multiply? So that is what we are going to learn here. That how, do, how are we going to multiply uh, numbers involving fractions? So let us first understand how to multiply a fraction with a whole number. Like the example in the previous slide, 1 by 4 was a fraction and 10 was a whole number. So how do we multiply a fraction with a whole number? So what do you see on the screen? A birthday cake. So let's say that it's your birthday and you have cut this beautiful strawberry cake. And you have invited 5 friends for your birthday party. And each one of them wants one eighth of the cake because the cake is really huge. So they say that I want one eighth of the cake. If you divide the cake into eight equal parts, then I need one part out of those eight equal parts. And all of them say the same thing that we want one eighth of this cake. Right? So now if I ask you that, so what we did? we started giving one slice to each of them. So we gave each one of them one eighth of the cake. So if I now ask you that total what fraction of the cake was eaten up by your friends together? That means total how much part of the cake did the five of them together eat? So one of them each one ate one eighth of the cake. But how many of them ate? Five of them. So one by eight needs to be multiplied by five. Right? So when you multiply it by 5, then whatever you get, that gives you the part of the cake that is eaten up by all these 5 kids. Because once the 5 of them have eaten, you do not have the entire cake anymore. A good part of the cake has already been eaten. So what is that part of the cake which is being eaten by these people? So that part is given by 1 by 8 multiplied by 5. Now let us come to the point. How do we multiply this? How do we do this multiplication? So when we say 1 by 8 multiplied by 5, we basically mean 1 by 8 multiplied by 5 by 1. So now there is a very simple tip that you need to follow in order to multiply fractions. All you need to do is multiply numerator with numerator, 
multiply denominator with denominator so whenever you are multiplying fractions just remember this numerator multiply numerator divided by denominator multiply denominator that's the simple logic that you need to follow so what are the numerators here 1 and 5 so 1 into 5 divided by what are the denominators 8 into 1 so 1 into 5 is 5 8 into 1 is 8 so once you multiply this what you get you get 5 8 so that means 5 8 of the cake was eaten up by 5 of your friends so 5 8 part of the cake was eaten by all of them together clear so now you understood how we do multiplication now let, let us understand one step ahead as well let's ask that okay so we got to know that this part of the cake which is vanished now is the 5 8th part of the cake now how much is this part of the cake which is left out so how much part of the cake is now left out for your family members so how would you get the left out part so the left out part would be nothing but 1 minus 5 8th why 1 because the complete cake is 1 Right? So the complete cake would be denoted by 1 and out of that 5 8th part is already eaten. So 1 minus 5 8 which will be equal to 8. So 1 the, here you have 1. So 1 into 8. So 1 into 8 minus 5 into 1. So this would give 8 minus 5 by 8 that is equal to 3 by 8. That means 3 8th of the cake is left out. So this portion of the cake which is left out is the 3 8th part. And this portion which is vanished is the 5 8th part which is which has already been eaten. So I hope that with this example it is very much clear to you that where do we need to multiply fractions and how do we multiply them. So here we have relatively considered the simple scenario where we multiplied a fraction with a whole number. Now you might come across situation where you need to multiply a fraction with a fraction. So confused do you think under, under what such condition do we need to multiply a fraction with a fraction. So we will consider the same situation the same birthday party. So now let's say that in your birthday party there was a very little girl and when you give that girl a slice of cake the girl says that I can't eat this entire slice so I can't eat so much of a cake so how much did you give to the girl so you had offered her one eighth because you thought that all your friends ate one eighth of the cake so you assumed that she would also be able to eat that much but when you gave it to her, she was too little to eat that much. And then she says that I can't eat this entire slice. Can you please give me half of it? So now what is she demanding? She is asking you to give half of the slice. So can you tell me what fraction of this entire cake is she asking for? Because you gave her one eighth of the cake. But what is she asking for? She is asking for half of this part. That means she is basically asking for half of one eighth. This is what she is asking for. Right? So that means how will you find out half of one eighth? Half of one eighth is nothing but half multiplied by one eighth. So what is this? This is nothing but fraction multiplied by a fraction. So the result of this multiplication, what, what would be that result? What would that result signify? That result would signify what fraction of this entire cake is she demanding? What fraction of the entire, you gave her one eighth of the cake, but she is demanding half of one eighth. So how will we multiply? Here also we will follow the same logic. Numerator multiplied by numerator, denominator multiplied by denominator. So this would be one into one by two into eight. So 1 into 1 is 1, 8 into 2 is 16. So she is demanding 1 16th of the cake. So basically what she is demanding is if you divide the cake into 16 equal slices, then one slice out of those 16 slices is what she is asking for. So just to brief, just to sum up whatever we discussed here is what 
you had offered her was this that is one eighth of the cake the entire cake if you divide it into eight equal slices so you had offered one such slice to her but what she asked you to give but what she asked you to give was one sixteenth but what she asked for was one sixteenth that means if you divide this cake into sixteen equal part so one part out of sixteen part would be this much so just compare this now when you look at this this is very small slice this slice is exactly half of this slice right so that is what what she had told she had told you to give half of what you had offered her right so with this we get to understand where exactly we need to multiply fraction with fraction and how do we multiply them so i hope that multiplication the the part of how to multiply is relatively easier so thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you